2 million coons in laws Sean and Spoon for saying now in big trouble after divorcing. Power couple Sean and Spoon for saying, known for the love of Versace and Maceritis, are about to go belly up in more ways than one. On Valentine's Day, the controversial couple, who are going through a divorce, were served with a nasty surprise from the tax man. The Persanes received a sheriff's notice relating to an application brought by curators appointed to liquidate their personal assets and those of their companies. As if the Valentine's Day shock was not enough, on Friday the couple was served with another notice. It informed them that the liquidation matter between them and the South African Revenue Services SARS had been set down for a hearing in the Durban High Court on Wednesday. The high-flying couple are known for hosting lavish wedding anniversary parties and New Year's Eve all-night parties at the La Luce Mansion, where guests include A-list celebrities and leading politicians. The couple's fleet of expensive cars once included a Ferrari 612 Scaglietti valued at about R3 meters, a Rolls-Royce Ghost worth about R4.8 meters, a Porsche Cayenne Turbo worth R860, 000, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, estimated to cost R6 meters, a Maserati Gran Turismo worth about R950,000, and a Porsche Panamera Turbo worth about R900,000. The court action relates to an urgent application brought by SARS in December 2016. It concerns a tax dispute with the couple's companies, which include Zikilai's Maintenance and Transport, Zikilai's Auto Restorers, Inyanga Trading, Royal Eagles Football Club, Zikilai's Auto Recoveries, the Zikilai's Group, and the Spusha Trust. SARS claimed it was owed about R204 meters. Pieta Strider and Chafiwa Mitsusi were appointed by the North Gorting High Court in November 2016 as curators of the Mpersane's multi-million rand estate. Spoon Persane said the matter was sub judice. His wife did not respond to an SMS request for comment. Sean Persane amassed a fortune from building low-cost houses and is the director of most of the couple's companies. She and her husband, a former Metro policeman, own Royal Eagles, a soccer team in the National First Division. Among the couple's assets seized by SARS in 2016 under the Tax Administration Act was their three-story mansion in La Lucia, in Durban North, a 54-hectares farm in the KwaZulu-Natal Midlands registered under the Spusha Trust, a BMW X5, a Dodge Ram and other cars. The mansion was bought in 2007 for R15. 5 meters. According to court documents seen by the Sunday Times, the curators also seized the couple's bank accounts. A number of accounts have been frozen by some banks. The curators attached statements that showed the couple had an investment account worth R5 meters, Royal Eagles Football Club worth R7 meters and Zikilai's Auto Restorers worth R1 meter. In his affidavit, Stridham said the curators did not intend to adversely affect any of the couple's businesses, but that their efforts to examine financial documents and to determine the couple's worth have been thwarted by the Persanes. We throughout adopted the view and communicated with all parties our intention to assist and to enhance the business activities of the respondents where possible. We have bent over backwards to accommodate the respondents and have not interfered with their activities," said Stridham. Regrettably, we have since our appointment been frustrated by the respondents, and our involvement in their business activities has been met with some resistance. He said the Kiaratus frustration was highlighted by the Persane's businesses all being conducted and operated as a single entity, with the main source of income being the low-cost housing project. The curators resolved to appoint a Durban-based forensic auditor to take control of the affairs of the affected businesses on a day-to-day -day basis with effect from March 1, 2017. Stridham said the Persanes historically seemed to have made various payments from their business account, but these were not related to their operations. Payments included one of R500,000 made to a consultant and R200,000 to Sean Persane. Sisalom Kosi, a SARS spokesperson, said the tax collector did not comment on matters relating to private taxpayers, 